Uh, well, first off, I'm doing good. Um, right now, you know, we just uh, getting workouts in, getting stronger, faster. And then we started spring ball not too long ago. Um, just a couple of days ago, we had uh, spring practice number four. So okay. Pads. Much. Pads, right? We're breaking out the pads now. We, we ready for this. Mm -hmm. All right, so I, I want to talk about this. You're from Miami. Uh, give me two spots that I must go to eat in Miami and then – Two spots in Gainesville, because we'll be there this year, where I got to go to. Um, To answer that question, I wouldn't know, because uh, I don't eat out like that. You know, <laughs> uh, My family's big on cooking. <laughs> That's um, so crazy. But coming up here, I would say Chick-fil-A. You could go there anywhere, you know. That's probably one of my favorite fast food places to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Chick-fil-A. You can go there anytime except on Sundays. So... Right. What do you do on Sundays? Do you cook? Are you a cooker? Oh, uh, a little bit. A All right. Little what, bit. what do you? What's your best dish? What do you make, Jason? Tell me this. Oh, I'll get into football in a second, but I want to. I want to. I want to peel some layers off of this onion called Jason Mark. <laughs> um, I could make some spaghetti. Some good spaghetti. That's a tough dish. That's not easy to do, but I mean, I, I like it. How do you? What do you do? What is your specialty to make your spaghetti better than mine? Uh, I mean, I make it. You know. Just like the norm, like everybody else would. <laughs> no, man, it just it's got to be... taste better. Yeah, okay, okay, I, I get it. <laughs> so, so last year you led the team in pass breakups. What do you think the difference was last year for you? That was your best year statistically as far as PBUs go. Um, the season didn't go as great as you guys wanted to, but for you specifically, uh, what do you take from the success you had last year and bring it into confidence this year, going into this year? You know, probably your final season. Um, I mean, that's a good question. You know, uh, I do like to build off of last year and the PBUs and hopefully turn those those PBUs into picks. You know, yep. that would be the biggest thing. Yeah. And so I, I would say this and this is just as a former DB. I, I think it's uh, and most people do not understand this. But when I say this to you and as you can see me, you'll probably just agree with me. It takes a lot of confidence and not so much as ability, but to go from one hand to knock the ball down to a second hand to catch it. And so it's right. got to come with confidence, eye discipline, and technique. So how are you trying to improve on those things on a day-to-day -day basis? And what is pushing Jason Marshall going forward? Uh, you know, just getting on the jugs, working on my catching skills. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we also brought in Coach Harris. Um, so, you know, he, he's doing his a good job on, you know, coaching us. And, you, you know, like I said, those pass breakups, they turn it into picks. Yes, so. they do. And you got to overpopulate the ball as well. Could we talk about your defensive coordinator for a second, Austin Armstrong? Um, mm -hmm. What has he added to your game, uh, whether it's helping you out the little small communication things, eye discipline? How has he really helped you mold you into be a better player? And also some of the things that you guys are doing schematically that you're probably starting to see, like, okay, we're turning the corner in this direction. I would just say his aggressiveness, you know, his aggressive play calling. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, he wants everybody to run to the ball, populate the ball, and he's a young guy, so he, he brings a lot of energy to the defense. So when you say energy, I mean, is he like a chest bump guy? Is he a fist bump guy? Like, or is he just a rah rah hit you on the helmet? I hated guys that hit the helmet. I'm like, dude, don't hit my helmet. But what do <laughs> you? What do you? What is what is Coach Armstrong for you? And then what what do you enjoy? What's your celebration or go to? Um, he is a chest bump guy. I remember one play, um, I think it was against Florida State. Um, he came in with a chest bump. He jumped high as me, so <laughs> I was kind of surprised by that. <laughs> but, but did you go down? I think that's the other thing. Did you go down or did you land? Did you land it? Uh-huh, right, I did. You went down? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> when they just bring way more momentum than you do. I agree with you, that's the worst. All right, um, let's talk about a couple of your teammates right here. Uh, Graham Mertz had one of his better years since entering in college football. I know he's been around the block. Well, let's talk about his leadership, what he brings to this team. And also, when you go against him or when you look at him like, man, I should maybe start to implement some of those things into my game. What are those things and uh, what does Graham Mertz mean to this team? He means a lot. Uh, you know, to start off, he is, you know, the leader of this team. Um, that's for any quarterback on any team. And going against him in practice every day, you know, it makes me better and it makes him better. You know, uh, he do throw a lot of good balls. So mm -hmm. it's hard for me to get to some of them. And, you know, we, you know, we, 
we talk smack to each other. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, we both just getting better. He helping my game, I'm helping his game, so. Well, Jason, the reason why he's throwing so many great balls is because he's not getting hit at practice. We all know that. And that's the advantage. <laughs> I mean, of the yeah, we all know that. <laughs> that's, yeah. the, that's the advantage. That's why I'm a DB, bro. You, this is going to be the best interview ever because we on the same page. All right, so let's, <laughs> let's talk about uh, Eugene Wilson the third. I, I thought this kid really came on to himself. How, how is the competition going at practice with him? Are you guys like we're, all right, every time one-on-ones, it's me and you. And then we're going to get this thing kicked off, and then that builds up and ratchets up the competition level for everybody else? Or how does it go? Or, or is it somebody else out there that you love to compete with just as much? Uh, I mean, all our receivers, you know, they're high competitive. But speaking on him, he's probably one of the toughest receivers I, have, I had to guard, and I'm glad he's on my team. You yes. know, I don't have to go against him on a Saturday <laughs> and, you know, where he exposed me. Not saying that it would happen, but... <laughs> I, no, I get it. I mean, he is silky smooth. That's why I brought him up. Trust me, the mm -hmm. kid jumps out on tape, especially as a true freshman last year. He really did some things that really um, that you just don't see most true freshmen doing uh, from an earlier age. All right, let's go to your head coach here, Coach Billy Napier. People are going to say it's a you know, hot seat. They're going to say it's pressure to win. It's all these other things. You can talk about the outside noise all day long. It really comes down to the people in your locker room. Why do you guys love and appreciate Billy Napier so much, and why is he perfect for this situation for the University of Florida right now? It's just the things that he did. You know, he changed this program around from mm -hmm. what it was before, and I, agree. I can, you know, uh, say that he has changed the program in many different ways. He brought in great players. All the players get along, and... You know, he's big on team bonding and, and, and things like that. So just the way he changed the program around. Yeah, I'm a big Billy Napier fan. Um, it's been really, really intriguing to see. I mean, it's hard when you always be compared to Georgia. Um, it's about, talking about Georgia, who is your favorite rivalry since you've been at the University of Florida? I would say Georgia. That's, you know, probably the biggest rivalry. Um, it's a lot of history between the, you know, Georgia and Florida. Well, Florida-Georgia game, I should say. <laughs> um, it, you know, it's a lot of uh, rivalry in there, and, you know, that's probably one of the biggest games of our season. So who – look, I played at Alabama. Everybody thinks I'm just going to hate Auburn, but I got a lot of friends that went to Auburn, and, you know, I hung out there a little bit. I hated Tennessee more. For you, which mm -hmm. one do you dislike? I don't want to use the word hate on TV. It's a strong word. Which one do you dislike more, Florida State or Georgia? Florida State. <laughs> that's what I figured. Florida State. <laughs> that's, that's exactly. By far, Florida State. <laughs> now, why is that? Why do you dislike Florida State more, even though you appreciate the rivalry of Georgia, but you hate Florida State more? Uh, you know, just because we battling for, you know, who's the best team in Florida. Uh-huh. Okay, so it's all about the state pride and you being from Florida, uh, a product of your state. Did you grow up a Miami fan, being from yes, that I area? Did. And I you did. decide to go to Florida. Uh, were your friends mad? How, were you, how did your family react? I think that all these things matter uh, growing up in, in a household where you're a Hurricane fan and all of a sudden you decide to put on the orange and blue. Mm. Um, you know, coming to Florida was probably the best decision. Uh, my family was with it too. It's not that far from home. Um, and you know, just to get away from my, get away from Miami, like that area, uh, you mm -hmm. know, I didn't, you know, want to be stuck up in Miami, you know, for these four years that I've been in college. So Gainesville was the best fit. Well, Jason, man, I appreciate it, man. I can't wait, man. Uh, hopefully we come in town. Uh, I, I don't know if we're going to go to Chick-fil-A, but you can definitely give me some of that spaghetti, bro. Appreciate it, man. Uh, good luck to you guys this year, man. I'm really looking forward to the season uh, for you personally and also for the Florida Gators and their lovely fans. So thank you so much, Jason, for joining the Paul Feinbaum Show. Okay, thank you for having me. Thank man, you. No doubt, man. Great job.